Now, emergency services in the Australian state of New South Wales fear three wildfires could merge and form one huge fire that could be unstoppable. So far, one man has died and hundreds of homes have been damaged or destroyed. Dry, hot weather conditions are making firefighting difficult and later this week, strong winds could make it even worse. Ben Chapman has the latest. They are driving into an inferno. Firefighters on the front line in Australia's battle with wildfires. Their daylight has been suffocated by smoke, their path illuminated only by the flames devouring this countryside. Houses that get in the way stand no chance, so people here are getting ready to run. One minute you can be fine and the next minute can be right on top of you, so we're just going to play it by ear. We're packed, ready to go. We've got the kids gone. Uh, I've got the uh, firefighting hose around the corner. People here are used to fighting bushfires, but not like this. The weapons are water and also fire itself. They're now burning vegetation around people's homes to stop the spread. We've been watching the fire from over there for two days, just creeping this way. Um, so it was kind of the, the sooner they got here and lit it up, the sooner we could get a good night's sleep. It's a fight that is constant and endless, and one they accept they can't always win. We're not bulletproof, uh, we're not miracle makers, uh, but we'll do the very best we can uh, to limit a death toll uh, and limit uh, the amount of damage and destruction uh, throughout communities that come under threat from fire. Those communities now include Sydney's suburbs. Black smoke already hangs over its landmarks. But this is the big fear in the days to come, that strong winds will whip up the flames, blowing three separate fires into one huge blaze. Firefighters accept there's little they can do to stop it. Ben Chapman, ITV News. Well, the main focus for firefighters are the Blue Mountains to the west of Sydney. Uh, Laurel Irving from Australia's Channel 7 joins us from there now. And Laurel, are there uh, real fears things could get worse in the next few days? Mark, the real danger day for us is Wednesday. The winds are expected to pick up to around 70 to 100 kilometres an hour. And the temperatures are expected to be in the mid 30s. And I'll tell you why that's such a problem. It's because we've got nearly 60 fires burning already around this area. You can see behind me there's some fire activity. If those winds pick up as expected tomorrow, it can really push those flames up into a, a line of homes on that ridge over there. And that that's a scenario that's being played out across the Blue Mountains and so there's a massive backburning effort underway today. More than 2,000 firefighters, almost all of them volunteers from across the country, are here in this area today doing as much backburning as they can. So if those conditions do worsen as expected tomorrow, hopefully everyone will be prepared and homes won't be lost. All right, we certainly hope so. Laurel, thank you very much indeed.